Just do it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> What up, people? So, um, it's echoey here, isn't it? Yeah, wait till it gets started. No, 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 this is, this is how it starts. Um, we're in Busan, got here yesterday. Torrential rain. It was torrential rain. Very high winds. Really got used out of these. Yeah, so for the next two days, we're going to be doing everything, apparently, according to our itinerary. <laughs> We've got a 48 hour pass, which took 48 hours to get. How much is the 48, 48 hour pass? It is 46 pounds per person. Pound an hour. Pound an hour. Is it all of the attractions? Or yeah. is it like a select few? No, so there's a purple list and a blue list. Purple list is the most expensive things. That includes Lottie World, um, Busan Time for Sky, and then the blue things are the cheap things like museums, stuff like that. Um, but it's spread out across the whole of Busan, so I've spent a lot of time making an itinerary based on where things are in relation to each other, tube stops, all stuff like that. So we've got a pretty jam-packed itinerary for the next two days. Word of warning though, you can't buy these passes online at the minute because their app doesn't work, it doesn't let you process the transaction. Um, we had to buy them from Busan train station yeah. and we couldn't get them from the airport because they'd just gone on lunch. So we landed at 11.30. Erin ran to go and get the Busan passes because she knew they were going on lunch. And she got there just as they were taking their chairs away and they refused to do it. Busan station, you need, you need your passport to buy them. Um, yeah, all right, let's do this. Just give you a little shot of uh, where we are, actually. There we go. First stop, Skyline Luge. We actually did this in Sentosa Island in Singapore. It's the exact same brand, same company. Ready to go. That was smooth. Literally just showed them our passes and got the tickets. But that was 55,000 won each, and these cost us 85,000 won. So we've already spent, like, we've already made back over half of what these cost, which is amazing. Love, love, love a bargain. Testing, testing. Right, we've just finished the luge, two rides. Mm -hmm. First activity on the Busan 48 hour pass. It was it only took us 45 minutes and I budgeted an hour and a half Ooh. to do that. So we're 45 minutes ahead of schedule. Which 45 minutes to drink this. And your TikTok coffee. The viral <laughs> <laughs> banana coffee. And this viral, not so viral, water jelly orange. I don't, even know, I don't know if it's going to be jelly or what. Stop number two on the 48 hour in Busan Pass. Lottie World. Woo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Lot World, Lottie World. Uh, Disney's rival. I don't know if they're scared. <laughs> Should be. Yeah. yeah, there we go. This music's not copyright, is it? I highly doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Seven thousand each. So we've already made back the money of the tickets. Yeah. The luge on this. Lock us up and throw away the key. We're robbing you. It's actually pretty cool. So guys, after looking at the park map, I've just realised that I spent an hour and a half yesterday researching the rides at Lossy World to be looking at the one in Seoul because there's two Lossy Worlds: one in Seoul, one in Busan. The app that I downloaded as well it didn't even say Seoul on it, but obviously Seoul is the massive one, and I think Busan is the smaller one, so it probably doesn't have its own app. 
sound like it's been electrocuted. But anyway, we're in the right, we're in the queue for the Big Digger, which is I think their biggest ride here. So just been on the giant Digger roller coaster, which neither of us realised it's one of those roller coasters that goes from zero to a hundred um, kilometres. No, like hundred kilometres an hour. Yeah, hundred kilometres an hour. by a bit of a surprise, but it was really good. Fake Mickey. Very, very, very fake Mickey Mouse in front of it. But I think you can go inside the castle, so, so. yeah. Oh, this is the cooling parade. Oh. Then so you got ran over there. Bloody hell. Okay, we're not even hungry, but we've come to this restaurant inside the theme park. The fusion of food and roller coaster comes together in holy matrimony. There's a kitchen up there, and then you've got all of this is a little roller coaster, and then wee down here, straight into your mouth. No, that's not right. <laughs> so I said as a joke, imagine what it'd be like if they just brought the food out and it didn't come out of the roller coaster, and they did. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Obviously, we don't speak Korean, but for anyone that speaks Korean, you will be able to see that I think this one says anything with the blue dot on the menu comes down the roller coaster. And if you look at the side menu, what we ordered, blue dot, blue dot, blue dot, we literally chose one of the only things that doesn't come down the roller coaster. <laughs> so. We've just ordered some fried squid, so we are hoping that this comes down the roller coaster. Is this us? There we go. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at it, it's all scrapped Yeah. <laughs> I think you might put that strap back on. Maybe. How it doesn't spill out. Yeah. That really was a roller coaster of emotions <laughs> waiting for that. I just thought you we were going to come out the door again. It's quite cheap actually. The rice cake and sausage thing was like £2.40. Yeah. And this squid is £1.80. Not that bad, is it, considering it comes out of a roller coaster? Squid game. All right, we've just got to the Blue Line Park, um, and we're that's a good building. Wow! Um, that. Whoa! Uh, we're going to be going on to the beach train. Uh, we just got a taxi here. We stopped off at a temple on the way in, so we went to Lottie World, and then we went to a temple. Uh, and then we went to now we're at Blue Line Park. Hiya! Choo choo! Choo choo! Here we are, we are. <laughs> the train has arrived, so have we. Oh, I did not imagine the seats to be where they are. Well, I'm excited to see them. Treat. You really are. I don't want to see them until we're on the train. And it makes so much sense. Oh, don't, please I'm don't. I'm so excited for you to see the seats. Oh, I don't, I mean, I'm like picturing like water seats, like know. water beds. I don't, I don't mean that. I mean something else that you'll find out. I don't, I want to look inside, but I can't. No, don't. You can't see you get on there. Ready for this? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right, I didn't expect that. You've also got a stand in behind, so the seats are like this. And then they look out like this. There is no I'm not standing. Definitely not. I said there is standing. This is really exciting. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you.
Apparently, according to le legend has it, you can surf it all year round. <laughs> Thank you, Savanida. Wow, this is cool. It's really dark, but I know I've got my glasses on. But Do you want to swap them? No, I like it. Yeah. This was twenty-seven thousand one each, which is like eighteen pounds. So we're well over the saving, which makes me happy. You'll also oh, yeah. <laughs> you'll save loads of money if you don't actually do the pass and just watch the video. <laughs> just you don't have to do anything. Whoa. Here we go. We're up quite high, aren't we? Yeah. I think this is the tallest building I've ever been in. Do you think? Yeah, maybe. I don't know how tall the shard was. Yeah. Uh, it was the tallest building in the world, but I don't know. It's cool though. I like to get up against the glass though. Or can you? Oh, maybe you can, yeah, down here. It's not at the curve. The shocking bridge. We'll go and find the shocking bridge, shall we? Is it like glass floor? This is the highest oh. Starbucks in the world. No, it's not. On the floor below us, the 99th floor is the highest Starbucks in the world. No way. <laughs> I don't know if you can really get any sort of depth perception here, but there we go. Yeah, mine have a little bit actually. I didn't think they would. It feels really not secure because of the sand. I feel like, has it just been built on sand? It hasn't. It'd be the world's biggest sand castle, wouldn't it? Should we go, what's the shopping bridge? I don't mind buildings. Oh, there's the shocking bridge. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, you can. Do you want to go for the world's tallest Wii? <laughs> <laughs> On the hundredth floor. That's quite weird. Right, just do it. <laughs> oh, this is so strange. I have to walk on the concrete there. I don't, it's really weird. Wow. I, d I feel like I've just walked into a pit of snakes and realised I don't like snakes. Wow. Erin, you've got to do it. You have to. Three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. There. Oh my god. Okay, okay, my legs have gone, my yeah. legs have gone. Yeah, you're okay. My legs have gone. <laughs> 384 meters up. I, I don't even know, I've stopped working the camera to be honest. There we go. What? Do you remember the first Harry Potter? Yeah. When he's leaning against the glass? Yeah. And Harry makes it disappear, then the snake comes out with it. <laughs> Like a, like a pervert's dream up here, isn't it? Look at that. Woo, day two. Day two, stop one, which is Sondo not Bay the cable, station. Not, not the cable cars. It is 5:45 a.m. Um, it's very bright, and we're headed to the cable cars. 8:51, and the cable car opens at nine. What are these doing then? How much do the cable cars normally cost? I don't know, we'll find out when we get in there. Cross over. Where? Well. Woo, it's one of these scary roads. Oh, quick! Huh? He was not stopping down. He was not stopping for anybody. Goody two shoes, Aaron's got us to be the first ones there. I <laughs> know oh, we're not, there's a few more. The ticket booth isn't open there. 
How many activities have we got today? Four today. But we actually, the last activity is about 4 pm, and then that's us for the night. But we also do have the pass until 10 am tomorrow. Oh, yeah? So just squeeze another one in there. But... I don't know if we mentioned about the chicken and beer last night, did we? No. So we had chicken and beer at Fingers, Fingers and, and Chat. chat. Um, and you get buy one, get one free on the beer if you've got the pass, so... Worth it, worth Yeah, it. we had a couple, which is good. It's also just on the edge of the beach. Hay and Day, Hay and Day Beach. It's on the edge of that, so if you're, you're going to be at the beach, it's worth it. Cable car. That is mad. What? Because we're just, these are just standard tickets, so there's eight of you. That's, Not anymore. It helps coming early, doesn't it? It does. We're going. trip in Southeast Asia has been a lot of cable cars, <laughs> a lot of walking up steps, and a lot of deciding where to eat. Yeah, summed up in three things. Should I sit swap that size? I mean, as long as it's even. That's yeah, alright. Wow, look at that beach. Oh, that's Songdo Beach then. Look, we've got all this stuff in the sea. Can you see that, like, whale? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming out. I thought it was just like a boy. <laughs> it's so cool. I do like a cable car. I like it, but then I do put thoughts in my head. So when it's over the sea, I'm okay. Well, yeah. Don't know why, but I just am. But I know what you mean. Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we got on the roller coaster. And just as we're about to shoot off, Erin said, Oh, it's not one of the over shoulder ones. And I was like, No. And then it was fine. And then it, in my head the whole time was like, No, it's not one of the over shoulder <laughs> ones. Like, what happens if I just fall out? I just said I'd much prefer it when you're harnessed, thing. It's over your shoulders rather than just a lap. Oh, I do now. One. And then we finished, and Jason went, I nearly came out there. I did nearly come like, out. No, I don't think you did. <laughs> An unlikely friendship here between the crow and the cat. It doesn't seem bothered, does it? But they've got the, the joint enemy of the dinosaur. <laughs> it's a very quick tour without boring you and going on too long. Cabin grip. Cable. Old cable car. New cable car. Erin in the ski lift. <laughs> Alright, got this guy taking a photo for us. Thank you, thank you. I didn't do anything. She's okay, she's okay. <laughs> he just shook it out of his hand. He got shit, didn't he? No. Maybe because you didn't tip him. Yeah, well, it's supposed to. Uh, put it on timer and then take a photo of you stood there but do we trust him now? I think that's secure but I yeah. think it's secure the first time so maybe not. Maybe not, okay. We're at the Running Man which is a uh, like game show in Korea and this is the live experience so you've got these jackets which is the uniform and then you've got hard, normal and easy different games that you can do. We've got easy, normal, hard. Jason's level normal. I'm going to go normal as well, I think. Perfect. Okay. Ah, so you can do like loads of different... So you got basketball, running, monkey bird. This is so cool. Jason's got a hang for foot on. <laughs> Fail. 40 seconds is a lot. Doing 
good. Come on, Jay, you got this. 1.7. Same as me. Almost like Flappy Birds. If anyone remembers that game. Oh, shit. shit! You've done it, you've done it. <laughs> no, no! That was annoying. Stop. 30. <laughs> what stop is I've this? I've lost count. It's stop three today. Stop three today. Museum one. Signs of loss, that's what the exhibition is. That's beautiful. What's that? Umbrellas, I think. All right, let's go and get our free stuff. These are all individual strings of beads. Uh, I can't even tie my laces. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it was free. <laughs> yeah, not really our thing, maybe. If you like, um, if you like leaving somewhere more confused than when you went in. <laughs> Go. Good one for you. If you like sort of hanging rugs on ceilings with no explanation, <laughs> so that makes sense, go. Um, and if you like to somewhere to apply makeup for free, there's a makeup room yeah, in there. That's so strange. like for people getting um, like Instagram photos and stuff, there's a makeup room. Like hair curlers, hair straighteners, makeup. Wild. I've got my lippy on. <laughs> but yeah, go if you've got time. Uh, don't if you don't. Yeah, don't if you don't. All right, let's go get some food. Okay, we are both pretty shattered at this point. We fit so much in, but we're just heading up to our final spot, uh, final thing of the last two days. So I'm really excited for this. Are you? Yeah, not gonna move, <laughs> walk, or speak. The last stop, Club D Oasis Spa, which is a spa and infinity pool, saunas, um, everything like that on in this like skyscraper building basically. So oh I cannot wait for this, it really smells amazing. The best thing this pass could get us right now. So tired after the last two days just dashing around, but it's free! even better. 48 hours in Busan, done. Woo. Finished in Club D. Oh no, we've got one more thing. No? Is that it? Yeah. We technically have until 10am tomorrow, but I think we're both pretty done with the attractions, aren't we? Yeah. Well, especially you. <laughs> it was good. It was, it was quite confusing at the start for me. Uh, I left my phone with Erin in, in, in the backpack and so I just had my trunks on me and my sunglasses, which are prescription. Didn't have my normal glasses on with me. And as soon as I walked in there, I was faced with a sea full of penises. <laughs> I don't mind, but it doesn't bother me. It was just a shock. It was a shock. Um, and then I had my sunglasses on. And when I took my sunglasses off, I got changed into my trunks. And I couldn't read anything because I couldn't read the signs because I didn't have my normal glasses. I was walking around for ages. I was going into some rooms where they were like, keep your trunks on. And then I was going into my, some other rooms where they were like, do not come here with your trunks on, be naked. And I was so confused, I just went outside and waited for her and 10 minutes later, she came out and find me, found me and said, there is a communal area. <laughs> so she guided me how to get there. We met, everything was fine. Well, that was after 10 minutes of me walking back and forth from where I thought we were, I was going to meet Jason, through a sea of naked ladies, and then back to the entrance where I eventually found you. It wasn't, and we were laying down 
It was quite relaxing. Oh, in the sauna? In the sauna. Yeah. We sort of laid on this sort of grassy mat floor thing. And if I'm going to say one thing about Korea, which I'm going to say is negative, is... Put your, phone, put your phones down. There's me walking with the camera. We went into the, 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 into the sauna and there were about 20 people laying there, all on their phones, just like that, laying down on their phones. I was thinking, isn't this a time to relax? Like, isn't this a time to get off your phone? Switch off the device. Yeah, switch also, off. Also, a beautiful view of the beach through yeah. the window. No one's looking at it. They're just on their phones. Every, every single person. Everyone. We see it a lot on the tube as well, on the metro. Everyone's just phones. You look. I, I could be swearing at you with my fingers and you wouldn't know because you were on your phones. And then we thought we'd go up to the spa. Meh. Didn't see any change. Um, the difference is on the tube in the UK, you don't get any signal. Yes. So all you can do is read a book or go through your photos, whereas here you have signal underground. Yeah. Um, we need to get you some ice. I'll go and get you some ice. And okay. Explain why. Okay. Um, so we were walking around the spa area. There wasn't a great deal to do. Um, you could even do like a foot therapy thing where you put your feet in it, or sit in a sauna with a load of people on their phones. Um, and we were just laughing, we were having a good time, laughing about it. Um, and then there was a water park you can go in, but we didn't have it on our pass, but you could walk through the turnstiles. So I suggested to Erin, let's just walk through the turnstiles, like skim through, it'll be fine, it's a bit cheeky, we'll just play dumb if nobody, if anybody asks. And we walked through to the water park, we met up on the other side, and... There's like a lazy river in the water park thing. We got on the rubber rings, I jumped on, and I fell backwards onto these like concrete steps um, and smashed my head against the, the steps. And it really, really, really hurt. I've got a huge egg on my head and it's been about 30 minutes. Um, so for me, it was a very re potentially relaxing experience. At the start was a bit, what the hell is going on? Where do I go? What do I wear? What can't I wear? Where do, like, where do I look? Like, I, I didn't get what was going on. To finally find a little bit of relaxation, smash my head. I'll try and get Aaron to take a photo of it in a minute because it's really painful. Um, but maybe that was uh, my own fault for sneaking in and uh, <laughs> going into an area where we hadn't paid for. All right, to so round off the day, that is it. Two days, one day, two days, 40 hours in Busan done survive just yeah. take a picture of the back of my head see if you can get it in there there we go oh yeah nice looks so sore that's looks what you get so sore sneaking into a water park yeah bad times oh. anyway cheers cheers